What's up? Mandy from Designs by Miss Mandy here. Today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to make curved text in Illustrator. And so there's a couple different ways I'm going to show you how to do it. The first one is pretty simple. Uh, I'm going to use this text I've typed right here, popcorn, as you can see. And I'm going to use this tool up here called uh, Make Envelope, and specifically Make with Warp. Uh, if you don't see this up here, or if you want to know where else you can find it, you can go to Object, Envelope, Distort, and Make with Warp. And so as you can see here, the default option is this arc. So if you like the way this looks, then you can leave it like that. You can also adjust the bend to be less or more. Uh, distort it horizontally or vertically, depending on what kind of... Um, what kind of look you're going for. And if you're familiar with Photoshop, then this is nothing new to you. Um, another similar one is Arch, and I tend to like it a little bit better because it keeps the, uh, the letters more straight up and down. And uh, you can go through just the same as before and choose the way you want it to look. When you're happy with it, you've got you can press OK. And then, once you have that, you can actually go in afterwards and adjust uh, the mesh on top of it using your white arrow tool. I can select all of these if I want to by holding shift and I can drag those down if I want my words to be a little bit longer or edit it however I want if I want it to look a little bit funky or shape around something else. Uh, and I can take this little popcorn icon I've got here and I could call that good if I liked it like that. So, so there you go. So there's one way to make curved text. And now I'm going to show you another. For this one, we're going to be using the, your ellipsis tool. And to get to it, you either can go over here to your shapes and choose ellipsis, or you can just hit L. And I'm going to make a circle. I'm going to change it to lines, and then I'm going to copy and paste in front, just in case you're wondering how I did that. And while I'm scaling, I'm holding Shift and Option while I'm scaling so that it scales evenly and around the center. It's a little trick. Um, and now I'm going to thicken up these lines a little bit so it's easier to see, and I'm going to make them. Oops, I'm going to make them flat. Okay, so now I have a couple different lines here for my circles. And the inner one is where I'm going to put my text. So this is going to be look like a, a badge logo or icon in the end. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to my scissors tool, or C for the shortcut. And um, just right here on my inner circle, I'm going to see where it highlights the anchor. I should zoom in a little bit. It highlights the anchor. I'm just going to click right there. And on this side, too. And now you see it has separated these. Pretty nifty. Okay, so now that these are technically two separate shapes, I'm going to... Uh, put some text up here and then curve some text along the bottom. I'm going to take this popcorn text, copy it, and I can click anywhere on this line. And you see while I'm using my text tool, sorry I didn't point that out, but the, or the type tool, excuse me, or just T for the shortcut. Um, if you hover over a line, it'll get this little squiggly uh, icon around it to let you know that you can type there if you would like, and I do. So I'm going to click there and paste in my text. And now you can see it is kind of not centered like I want it to be, um, but I can take this line on the edge and pull it all the way around. And the other one's already pulled around, but I could adjust it if I wanted to by coming in here and moving it like so. So there you have it. We're going to leave that alone for now. It's not exactly where I want yet, but I'm going to leave that for now so you can see popcorn. And the, the letters aren't distorted or anything like they were when we did it like this. 
uh, they're just all curving along a line. Now I'm going to do the same thing, copy this, and then using my pipe tool, come over to this line and paste it in. And you can see it got kind of cut off, and that's okay. We'll just take this edge like we did before, drag it all the way around. And now there's one other problem, and that's this is upside down, which if this were a circular sticker, maybe I'd like it like that, but I want to flip it. And this is surprisingly easy to do. All you have to do is when you hover over the middle section, is you see that little arrow that shows up next to my cursor? I just, when that shows up, I can click right here and I can flip it like that. Pretty sweet. So that's a really cool tool. Um, so now that I have these, an easy way to get these to center along their curved lines is by going to your characters panel. And if you don't have this over in your toolbar, you can go to uh, Window, Type, and then Character. And you're going to set your baseline down here. And I'm going to lower my baseline. And I just like to do it at the same time, just so I know it's even. And get it to where you want it to be. About negative 30 looks good. Um, by doing that, it's it spread this one the bottom line out more than the top, so I'm going to adjust my kerning a little bit. Right now it's set to negative 25. I'm going to try 50. That looks better. And then I can take my popcorn icon again, just put it kind of in the middle, scale it down, and voila! There you have it. You have some beautiful curved text, uh, an icon in the middle, and some more text on the bottom and I just couldn't help but do popcorn today everyone at my office was eating it so figured that'd be a good theme for today's <laughs> tutorial so anyway I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you're wondering about these fonts I know I get questions about that a lot this one is called Carnival Bold and this one is called Westmoreland and I'll put links in the doobly-doo below so enjoy and thanks for watching